All right, so we need to put our MPC into update mode. Now to do that, we hold down shift and you'll notice here that when I hold down shift, update lights up. So we hit update. All right, so are you sure? Let's go into update mode. She's now in update mode. Let's click on update. It's transferring all of the 2.1 update data across. Um, there's nothing happening on the MPC live screen, but there's a lot happening on the computer screen right now. So let's just keep an eye on both. And I'll flip forward and back as we see them. Okay, it's about to finish. Bang. All right, let's see what happens on the MPC Live. Hopefully nothing's going to go wrong here. Okay, it says it's done. The uh, MPC screen went black for a second and now it's restarting. Let's just wait for it to restart before I click done on here. Okay, it's restarted. Click done. Let's go into an empty project. And if we go into menu, and we can see there, PC firmware 2.1. Beautiful. Okay, now the nitty gritty. All right, so on the web page, the new features are this compatibility with exports expansion packs. I'm not really going to go into that. It's more like I think it's probably more a marketing thing that they're doing this. So for those who are into expansion packs, that's cool. This is another related expansion thing. Okay. This is probably the first one that I think is significant. It's uh, now now allows us to load user progressions. So to use user progressions on your preferred SATA SD card, you create a folder and you call it progressions at the root level. Then on your desktop, you navigate to those folders all right? and you copy your user progressions into that folder. Then in standalone mode, you connect it and you go to pad, perform progressions and it'll read the user progressions into the progressions list. So that is pretty cool. It has relative or absolute modes for snap. Events on the audio and MIDI grids can now be moved or copied with relative or absolute snap. When using the snap setting, when it's set to relative, events will move by the original time position of the event plus the current TC value. When set to absolute, events will move to the nearest TC time division. On the TUI, go to either audio or MIDI grid and press the settings icon. Snap mode, absolute or relative there. So there's now a pitch quantize feature. You can now force the pitches of notes in a track of, to a scale. So if we go to main and then go to track right here and then press the pencil icon there's the pitch quantize feature there. So let's see what happens. So we can set up the root note and the scale. We can actually probably even highlight an area if we only select the events. So that is pretty cool. Okay, so there's faster attack for drum and key group amplifier envelopes. Metronome can now be assigned to mono output in standalone and software. Cut, copy and paste event selections in the grid. Yay, this is a good one. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to there. Now if I select, say, that bar. So to do this, we hold down the shift button and it reveals TC, cut, copy, paste, mute and solo for us here. So I can copy that. that into something else. Let's just try that. Let's paste okay and now we've pasted it we can nudge it to 
wherever we want. We can transpose. That's actually cool. And then we can undo. It's very, very, very cool. All right, I'm not too worried about these things here. Um, I think it's more to do with just them keeping up with software and um, Mac OS and all that sort of stuff. This is the big one. So MIDI sync improvements. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up and we're going to have a look at the MIDI sync and see if the clock drifts 